It's Video Vixen here with the Hashtag Video Dictionary Project. And right now we are focusing on the fifth letter of the alphabet, E. In the beginning, you know, I had a concept for uh, this next short film and I had everything together. And then, you know, after just time and stuff went by, I realized that the story wasn't as strong as I wanted it to be. And even though I, like, made some revisions to it and I, like, I talked to other people and I'm trying to get some input on it, Entirely, I just wasn't feeling the the concept uh, in the end, and there were some elements to the story that were kind of uh, missing, so I decided to scrap that, and, and now I'm just going back to basics. I think this is the one thing that I'm learning, um, you know, trying to get better at this whole filmmaking thing, is that sometimes you're just going to have an idea, and it's probably not all that great, you just have to scrap and start all over from, from you know, from scratch. Scratch. So I have um, a list of all the words that I originally picked from the last time, or from the first time I was asking for suggestions. So right here, if you guys could see, I have all the words that I picked, uh, such as ecstasy and emphysema, and I made a list of the words and the definitions, just to jog my imagination of what type of short film I want to make. So uh, this is what I'm going to do right now, just kind of get an idea of the words and try to brainstorm some ideas, put them down on paper, and then once I have an idea which I feel strong, then I'm going to go ahead with it and start, you know, forming this short. Right now, at this stage, I'm trying something a little different with the whole project, and Usually, uh, at this stage, I'm still in the pre-production phase. I'm still working on, you know, a couple of things. And uh, one of the things that I'm doing differently for this installment is that I actually reached out to people on Craigslist. I put a Craigslist post out uh, seeking actors and actresses for my short film. And I got a couple responses so far. And, you know, funny enough, uh, there are four people that I have for the short film, and I got four responses, so I actually found a fit for each person in the short film. So this week I'm going to be meeting up with them, and, you know, just getting a feel of who they are, they sent me their pictures, and a little bit about themselves, so I want to meet them all one-on-one, -on -one to get a better sense of who they are, and what they can bring to the table for the project. And, you know, my goal is not just to work with them for this particular project, but to work with them in the future on other stuff. Right now I'm storyboarding. Storyboarding uh, my shots. And as you can see right there, that is what I'm doing right now. This is a little different from what I'm used to doing because right now, as you can see, there's uh, more boxes and I'm adding some extra notes. Um, actually adding the type of shot and the type of lens I'll be using for that shot. And I kind of learned that from my video production course that I'm taking currently. Um, well, I learned, you know, about storyboarding more. Uh, through that course, but I actually got this tip from a person on YouTube uh, off of Indie Mogul, uh, this guy named Griffith. He kind of storyboards his shots this way of putting the type of angle and the type of lens that he needs for that shot. So this is probably going to be a different technique, you know, that'll help me out, you know, so when it does come to actually shooting in the production phase, I'll be able to know which lens, which shots I need, and what needs to happen. And uh, so far, I've been meeting... Ooh, excuse me. I've been meeting with a whole bunch of uh, potential actors and actresses, people that are aspiring on to come up, and I think I got my whole cast down for the short. So now it's just a matter of locking in these locations and um, getting things started. Okay, yeah. There's Keith. Keith, what up? Hmm? Vlog. I'm doing a shooting a video. What's good, homie? Here we are in the Crack Den, official Crack Alley, USA. Yeah, it's. Pretty crack looking. Refer to this as the Boulevard of Broken Dreams. Yeah, Boulevard. Fucking nightmares. <laughs> Today, I'll be doing what I do, giving you that good stuff. Eat this, man. It's good for you. Yeah, it's. Yum, 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 yum. It's actually Tic Tacs. Hey guys, video mix. Uh, production vlog. I lost my phone last time, so I lost the last footage. But now we're here, and we're in Drugville, and um, Ed's up there changing. Can't see him now. But um, yeah, we're doing this, and. It's getting done, and yeah, this place looks filthy, which is perfect because it's ideal for any drug transaction. So if you need drug transactions, come to this place. Fun. Um, yeah, so we shot a couple of scenes today, and uh, we're wrapping up the scenes with the drug dealer and Ed 
and then that'll be done for the day. So there he goes, walking in his glory. Mr. Hey. Ed, all right, great, yeah. We're rowing, we're moving. I'm a little dizzy and crazy and tired, but we're, we're going good. All right, gotta go, rush, bye. So we've reached the end of another installment of the Video Dictionary series. Uh, as you can see here, I have finished the short film in all its glory. Uh, if we just look at the whole timeline, the whole short film is done. I just want to talk about this short film because this one was special. Um, it was unlike the other ones I did uh, last year, the first four. This one was special because I I actually like started from the ground up. Like I found talent online. I wrote the script. I found locations as hard as that was. And everything came together, and I'm really excited about that. Uh, this is the first time, you know, I'm working with, like, other people outside of my circle, and, you know, it was good to, like, you know, direct and get to know them and kind of, like, see their acting styles, and, you know, everyone brought something different to the table, which made this short film very special. And, you know, it kind of makes me feel like this is going to be how each short film that I want to produce is going to be, like, just something different, unique, original, and... I like it. I think with this one, I did a good job. You know, it, it was interesting storytelling. I didn't use any dialogue. And I just hope that when people do watch it, they understand what the story is. What I learned from this experience is uh, location scouting, very important. Um, you know, working with talent is fun as long as you build great relationships with them. And, you know, just taking your time with things, you know, ends up with great results. So I'm just happy about that. And yeah, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time on another production vlog for our hashtag video dictionary. Fade out.